All my young ladies out there, listen. That is a fucking temple. Don't let no, just any old pot, you feel me? Don't just let no any nigga up in that. Don't get him dripping on my neck all sauced up. I walked in that club all bust up. Man, I feel like Michael Jackson. I'm too fat, too clean, you toss up. I just wanna live my life lavish. That means that my star gon' cost up. I want like all of it, I need the money. Look at my watch and my wrist all faster. I had a kid to go get it. 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 What am Mula gang gang gang? It's your boy Mac Mula, aka Mr. Mula Mac, and I am back with another video. Today I got a little video for you guys on tips and advice. My tips and my advice on losing your virginity. I know I got a lot of younger subscribers that watch me that might be in high school or middle school. And y'all might be virgins. Y'all might have already, you know what I'm saying, went crazy already. But this video is for anybody with any, like, questions. They wondering, when should I lose my virginity? How should I do it? You know what I'm saying? What should I expect? So I'm, I'm going to let everybody know that in this video right here. Like, look, though, before I even get started, smash that thumbs up button because your boy could use the like. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you messed with this video and if you did you might as well hit that subscribe button if you knew you know what i'm saying because because all my videos be lit now we finna jump straight into this motherfucking video man yeah 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 so losing your virginity i know i remember how it feels you know what i'm saying now the first thing i want to say before i even really get deep into the advice i want to say this all my niggas out there listen up okay if you are in eighth grade freshman sophomore even uh, some juniors, all them niggas, all your little friends that's running around talking about, yeah, I had lost my virginity when I was 14, or y'all running around in eighth grade talking about, yeah, I did this with this girl from nine times out of ten, the niggas lying, okay? But don't feel left out, you know what I'm saying? It's no rush. You don't need to rush that shit. I promise y'all, I ain't gonna sit up here and lie to y'all and say that sex ain't the shit, because sex is, you know, nigga. You feel me? But I will say it's not something that you should rush into. You know what I'm saying? It's no reason to be thirsty. Now, females are always going to be there for the entirety of your life, nigga. Girls, don't stop. Trust me. It's going to get a lot fucking easier when you get 17, 18 anyway. But I understand that you thirsty, you curious. I understand it. You know what I'm saying? Because I was the same way. Now, for the girls, it's a little tricky. A lot of girls is going to be like, a lot of girls, y'all friends going to be running around talking about they not virgins. Or they lost their virginity. A lot of girls be lying too. You know what I'm saying? So don't ever feel left out just based off what another motherfucker's saying. Because nine times out of ten, they ass lying. Now when it comes to how old you should be when you lose your virginity, like I say, for boys and girls, it is different. Now for girls, I would say, personally me, if I had a daughter like right, well whenever I have a daughter, I think realistically, I would be okay with her losing her virginity at around 16 and up. At 16, I feel like, you're not grown, but you like you you should be a little mature enough to handle those emotions. You know what I'm saying? Handle all that shit. I feel like 16 is a good age. That's just like a realistic age. You probably like a junior in high school. At that point, you've been curious since you was in th and you was like 13, 12, 13. You know what I'm saying? I think that that's like a decent age. But that doesn't mean that on your 16th birthday you need to go try to find a random nigga and just have sex with him. That's not what I'm saying. And for the guys. I mean, guys, it don't really matter too much because guys, like I said, guys is different. A woman always supposed to protect her temple, you know what I'm saying? That's supposed to be 100% safe. Niggas ain't really got no temple like that, so that's why it's different. But I think niggas, really whenever you ready, when, whenever it happens, it happens. Don't be trying to go, don't come to school every day trying to be super thirsty with no girl because most of the time when you lose your virginity, most of the time, it just happens anyway. Like, it might be this girl that you've been messing with, y'all attracted to each other, y'all end up at each other's house one day, and then y'all start kissing, and boom, you're not a virgin no more. That's usually what happens, you know what I'm saying? It's not something that you could plan. It's not something that you could be like, yeah, I'm gonna get that girl right there, and she gonna do this, and yeah, whatever. Because with the fellas, I'm gonna let y'all know. Fellas and all my niggas, when y'all get in a relationship, y'all got it. Y'all can't be thirsty, you know what I'm saying? Because the girl... The girl ain't, you know what I'm saying? Girls ain't just as, as quick as to do that. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, we thirsty. We trying to, you know, I know. We trying to get it. We trying to get it together. You know what I'm saying? We on one mission and one mission only. But I promise you, like I say, the first time ain't even going to be all that special. You know what I'm saying? So just calm down and take it take it one step at a time, my nigga. Now, as far as, like, picking somebody to lose your virginity to, like I say, it's different for boys. Boys, it don't really matter. But I can say this. 
I can say this. Don't go out there having sex with no thought or no just any any girl that uh, you feel me pop it open for you. Cause nine to the ten, if you young, if you under like you know what I'm saying, if you're in high school and she quit to pop it open. Nine times out of ten, she didn't did this shit before. So you kind of need to be careful with her ass anyway. And definitely, definitely, always put a condom on, y'all. Babies is not nothing to play around with, you feel me? And, and STDs ain't nothing to play around with. STDs are real. I know niggas that got caught STDs in high school. You know what I'm saying? I know niggas that caught STDs in middle school. 18 years old, and now you gotta be out of school for two weeks and take these big ass pills every day, and, and your shit gonna be burning. It's not, it's not fun. That shit is real. So, so put a condom on. You never know what another girl is doing. You never know what you, what to expect. You know what I'm saying? It's your first time at the end of the day. But don't go in. Don't just jump in the fucking water. You know what I'm saying? Don't just jump in the water with no scuba gear. You feel me? Put your fucking scuba gear on so you can swim, nigga. You feel me? Now for the girls, it's really, really important for y'all to pick the right person. Now, I can't say this. The right person that you lose your virginity to, nine times out of 10, you're never gonna find that right boy that you fall in love. That shit is a fairy tale story, okay? Now that does not mean go to school and when you are ready to have sex, just point out a boy and be like, Hey, you wanna have sex? Cause that's some whole shit, you know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is you don't have to be also deeply in love and you don't even know what love is when you're young like that. But you don't have to be deeply in love and he don't have to be your knight in shining fucking armor and come save you on this big ass horse. That shit ain't gonna happen, you know what I'm saying? And nine times out of 10 anyway, the, the, the boy you lose your virginity to, by the time you graduate high school, you not even gonna, y'all not even gonna communicate no more. Probably by the next year after you lose your virginity, y'all not gonna communicate no more. That's just how, that's how young niggas are, you know what I'm saying? Young niggas, we wanna go experience shit. So I just wanna be real with y'all and let y'all know, even if that's your boyfriend, I promise you, listen, I know I sound crazy to yo, and in your mind it sound crazy as fuck what I'm saying, but even if that's your boyfriend, nine times out of 10, y'all gonna do y'all shit, y'all might stay together, y'all might not, but at the end of the day, by the end of high school, y'all not even gonna communicate, you know what I'm saying? I do 100% support females being picky. Like I said, that shit is your temple. You shouldn't just let any and everybody up in that shit, you know what I'm saying? So just do it when you feel like you ready, when you feel like you got some kind of connection with a boy, when you feel like you can trust him, a boy that a boy that you know is not gonna go on Twitter and Instagram and, and Facebook and tell the whole fucking world that he just smashed you. That's who you pick. You pick somebody that's respectful and, and you know what I'm saying, that's not, don't got a big mouth, but you don't gotta be deeply in love and he ain't gotta put no fucking Cinderella shoe on your foot. That shit is that's not real. Now the next part of this video, I'm just really gonna go into depth like what to expect for my niggas and for my, for my ladies out there. Now for my niggas, I wanna let you know right now, like I said, always have a condom on. For the women too, don't ever let a nigga inside there without a condom on. What to expect for the niggas? When you, like listen, when you first slide in, this shit gonna feel amazing. I'm not gonna cap with you. You feel me? That first slide in is fucking legendary. You'll never forget that moment ever in your life. You know what I'm saying? But listen, you're not going to last that long, okay? So, fellas, if you're losing your virginity and you don't want to, maybe you're losing your virginity to an older girl like I did, and you don't want to seem like, you know what I'm saying, your stand number too low, because you is going you gonna, you gonna finish quick, my nigga. Nine times out of 10, trust. Cause the shit gonna feel good. You ain't never felt that shit before. You probably gonna finish quick. So my advice, before you get to her house, go in, go in the bathroom, you know what I'm saying? Turn on a little porn hub, you know what I'm saying? Go crazy real quick and then go to her house. You know what I'm saying? Cause you already got it warmed up. You feel me? I'm just being real with y'all. You already got your shit warmed up. So it's like, now you probably gonna last a little longer. I'm not a female, you know what I'm saying? I never was. You feel me, obviously. Um, but I can say this, I know for girls, it's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt. Um, every girl say that, it's gonna hurt. You're probably not gonna be able to take it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you're probably gonna piss the nigga off cause the nigga gonna be trying to go crazy. In his mind, he don't care about none of that shit. He try to go crazy. Especially if he losing his virginity with you, shit, he, try, he ain't think about nothing. He trying to go stupid. For the, for the niggas, with, with the girl, it's gonna hurt her. You know what I'm saying, it's going to hurt Regardless of, I don't care what nobody talking about. It's gonna hurt, so you're gonna have to go slow. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to be patient with her. It's gonna be like that the first couple times that you have sex with a girl. You know what I'm saying? 
if it's her first time, it's going to be like that. It's going to hurt. She's not going to really know what's going on. She ain't going to really know how to do different shit. You know what I'm saying? So you just really got to be patient with it. It's not her fault. That's just how shit is. Another thing to expect is a lot of, every girl doesn't do this, but some girls do bleed. I don't really know exactly why. Uh, the, the, the term everybody say is pop her cherry. That's what, that's what motherfuckers is talking about. When you say you pop the girl's cherry, that means that she bled. And it's not, I never, I never did that. Um, but I do know, like, I heard a lot about it. Like, it's not a lot of blood. So you don't have to be, it's not going to be like fucking Texas Chainsaw Massacre in the bedroom or nothing. It's just a very like a small amount of blood that comes out. I know, I ne like I said, it never happened to me, but I know I'm the way I am. If I see some blood, nigga, that's it. It's over with. Like that, I'm, I'm, I'm going home. You feel me? But I'm just letting y'all know the shit's probably 19 out of 10 is going to happen to the girl. So don't be freaked out. Now, ladies, now, ladies, when you lose your virginity, the first time you have sex, that's going to be a big ass emotional roller coaster. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, I never I never took no girl virginity. Every girl that I ever had sex with was already sexually active. You see what I'm saying? But, but I do know I mean, but obviously a lot of my friends that took girls virginities, you know what I'm saying? I've experienced it just not personally, but I've seen it. I've seen it happen. Girls get really 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 emotional and sometimes they get attached to the boy that they lost their virginity to. Now, I wanna say this. That does not mean go out there and be stupid for that little boy, okay? Nine times out of 10, that little boy don't give a flying shit about you. Cause a nigga, a nigga can have sex with a different girl Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and forget all them bitches' names by, by Saturday. I'm just, I'm just being real. But females, it's got, it got its feelings attached, its emotions attached. I understand, a lot of females, like, when they do that, they probably go home or something, they go in their room, they lay down. You probably gonna, a lot of emotions gonna start flowing through your brain, you might start crying, you might feel like maybe I shouldn't have did that. And maybe you shouldn't have, maybe you should have, but it happened. So it's no reason to dwell on the past. It happened, you got that experience. Just don't go around, like I say, letting anybody in your temple. That's, that's the most important part of this entire fucking video, okay? All my young ladies out there, listen, that is a fucking temple. Don't let no, this any old pop, you feel me? Don't just let no any nigga up in there. But all that emotional shit is normal. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say, make sure you, you, you lose your virginity to a respectful dude. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know niggas probably don't do this shit no more, but if you, if you find a nigga that open the door for you still, you know what I'm saying? He still make sure you okay. He don't blast everything on social media. That's the type of nigga you would want to have sex with, especially for your first time. You know what I'm saying? Because all of this shit is new. You're not uncomfortable. You, uh, you're not comfortable with it at all. It's super uncomfortable. So you definitely don't want the whole fucking school to know that you had sex with Brian and you had sex with him on Thursday. You don't want the whole school knowing at all, but you damn sure don't want him knowing on fucking Friday because Brian had been on Facebook and Instagram talking about, oh yeah, I had sex, or he told the whole fucking group chat and the whole group chat and told the whole other group chat and the whole other group chat that told the whole other group chat and now the whole fucking school know that you out here popping pussy. So it's just not okay. So just, you feel me? Don't do that. And for my niggas, don't be that type of nigga, bro. That shit lame as fuck. I don't give a fuck what nobody talking about. You should probably... You really shouldn't tell nobody when you have sex with a, with a when you have sex with a girl. That shit stay between you and that girl. You, I know everybody got that one homie, that one brother or friend or cousin that you tell everything to. That's cool. Just make sure you can trust him too, not to not to tell all your fucking business. But that shit not player, bro. It's not. It's not player. It's not no pimp shit. It ain't no cool shit. It don't give you cool points. That shit is lame as fuck. Exposing girls, all that shit. Shit lame. You had sex with this girl that was a you and her experience that stays between you and her. I know girls gonna go tell their best friend too. They gonna be like, bitch, oh my God. I just, you know what I'm saying? I know how it goes. And I know you gonna go tell your homie or your brother you, or your dad or somebody. You gonna go tell somebody. But just make sure that person isn't loud mouth either because like I say, that shit ain't cool, bro, to embarrass no girl like that. That shit ain't nobody business. You know what I'm saying? So just keep that shit between y'all. That's 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 one of my main points of this video too. If you like this video and you want me to do a part two, let me know in the comment section below. Smash that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button if you're new. I hope y'all learned a lot from this video. I hope, uh, I just, I tried to be as real as possible. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no sugarcoat shit with y'all. I'm gonna be real because that's, 
that's what I want somebody to do with me, especially if I was in, still in y'all shoes. So, if y'all new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I hope y'all like the tips and advice on losing your virginity. If you want me to do a part two, like I said, let me know in the comment section below. This is your boy Mac Mula, and I'm opening like the other box. Peace. Hey. I can't trust these boys, they snakes. They just got that in them. Ooh, they all think they slime. They got drip, man, that's just venom. Drip away from me, get away from me, yeah. Drip away from me, get away from me, yeah. All these Maybach coops and these girls, they wanna get in them. Ooh, they all think I'm high like soup.